I will go on a date with a person who is a partner. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and to my new subscribers, thank you guys. I really appreciate your subscribing to our channel. Thank you for becoming a part of this family. And to my oldies, my old subscribers who has been watching liking commenting guys i really appreciate it i appreciate whatever that you are doing and please guys do not forget to like all of my videos if you are watching this video can you please just click on the like button guys we are so close to getting to 1000 subscribers guys please help me help us guys help me help me get to 1000 subscribers i can't wait so guys today we are doing a q and a i have a few questions that were asked by people who watch my videos i posted in the community as i mentioned on my previous videos because i've been mentioning this i've been asking you guys to drop questions these are the questions that some of you dropped i wrote them down there are just a few questions i will try and answer as much as i can while i drink my favorite my robertson dry red wine this is my life this is my life let's go the first question was from kathy mbata who is also a small youtuber who is growing like me if you love my channel guys if you enjoy my videos please do go go and watch her videos and then if you like he can, you can then subscribe but she have my videos that are almost the same as mine so yeah she asked me would you go on a date with a person who has a partner guys guys you know kathy i think every every man <laughs> every man guys every man have has a partner every man has a partner i, I would mean i would like mean for me i will go on a date with a person who has a partner because i've done it before even though i didn't know the partner but because we were both open about our relationships so yeah i would go on a date with a person who has a partner if i love that person i will go on a date with that person Unless if that partner is married, if that person is a, a married man, no, I won't go on a date with that person. <laughs> mm. Mm. Guys, you fetch a person in a person. Let's move on. Still from Kate. Kate sent three questions. The second question was, will you ever move out of Newcastle? Definitely. Definitely. I will move out of Newcastle. Guys, and before I even moved to Newcastle, moving to Newcastle was my dream. Like, it was my dream. Like, <laughs> how I wish I can move to Newcastle. I came to Newcastle to study, guys. There is a college here in Newcastle. It's called Amajuba, and Amajuba produces a lot of people. It produces artisans. <laughs> it produces people who are, um, are successful people. And even now, guys, I will, I will encourage young people, young ladies, young people to to go to Amajuba, like go and study with Tivet College, guys. There's nothing wrong with studying there. There are a lot of opportunities after you have studied there, guys. Our colleges are not that are not bad, guys. They are not bad. And I'm so happy to see that most of people, most of young people are Uh, into Amati that colleges guys they are no longer okay they still are they still want to go to universities but back in the days during my time after school my I think my age mates but we wanted to go to university varsity varsity was was a thing 
But guys, like seriously, honestly speaking, Tivet Colleges has a lot of opportunities, especially in Majuba. Majuba, the best. When you are finished studying at Majuba, if especially if you have been excelling, if you have been excelling on your schoolwork, there are a lot of good opportunities that you can get. They even take, they put their students first, guys. They have a center where you can go and drop off your CV. And then you they add you on their database. And then you will get opportunities. Because most of the big, of big companies, they go to that, the Amajuba center to get, to look for people, for students. Yeah, guys, shame. still, I recommend, I recommend, guys, I'm a true. So, yeah, back to this. Will you ever move out of Newcastle? Yes. Like, honest, I always tell my husband, Guti, one day, I wish I can find a job. I love my husband. I love my family. I love my kids. I love my house. I love everything. I love Newcastle. But sometimes I feel like, I, I, I need to move out of Newcastle. I wish I can move out of Newcastle. Even if I had to go to not far from Newcastle, even if it means I must go back to Dandy home. <laughs> but no, I'm not willing to go back home. But if it means I must find a job in the clothes here around Newcastle, but maybe if I had... Friday is closer to Newcastle, but you cannot travel every day. Like, yeah, I know there are people who travel a lot, who travel every day. But, I mean, if I were to get a job in in Friday or Utrecht, somewhere around Newcastle, I will not travel. Or in Mutu, I will not travel. I will, I will stay that side and then come visit on weekends. The reason being, guys, in Mina, hey, guys, I love my husband, but sometimes I feel like I need, I need to give him space. Yeah, well, I also need space for myself. I need space for everything. I mean, I've guys, ugh, guys, I sometimes I feel like I need space. I need space. I need space. I need space. I want him to feel how it is to be without me. Yeah, well, I want me also to feel would see how it is without him yeah well guys i want that feeling i know it won't be nice but i'm willing to move out of newcastle i'm 100 percent willing to move out of newcastle even now if i had if i were to get a, an opportunity that a, a good opportunity that takes me out of in newcastle guys i'm gonna grab it with both of my hands Moving on to Busisi Wenkwanyana's question. What's Busisi Wenkwanyana? I think Busisi is also a YouTuber, guys. I think she's also a YouTuber. I must go and see. I must find out. Yeah, Uti, where do you get the drive to keep vlogging? Guys, Mina, let me drink for, for, to this. Okay. When I started this channel, this channel was mostly about about story times, which I know I'm good at. I mean, guys, I'm a good storyteller. But yeah, I stopped doing story times because now I realized what to know. The stories that I was telling, guys, I don't want is in this England they lie on me. I want my I want when I'm success I'm a successful YouTuber when I. I want when I'm attending my black okay, any black ban ban YouTube black. I want I don't want things to follow me. Yeah, but only thing I see. Yeah, I want to live even brands. When I start attracting brands, I want my brand to find me clean, like like a clean girl. Girl from Newcastle. Okay, I'm from Dandy, but girl you get from Newcastle for now. So, I want everything to be clean, guys. I don't want to always talk about our fun. I like boys. People will not take me serious. Mina, guys, I'm, I'm a no mama almost. So, I'm a ladies. I'm a house. I'm a ladies house. <laughs> Stepped. 
So let's move on, guys. I mean, I get a drive of vlogging. Guys, the vlogging part, when I started vlogging, things were not good. Things were not looking good. It was bad. But I told myself, was no. I will vlog. I will vlog until, until, until people see my vlogs. Until I see the numbers go up like this on our dashboards as creators hey as creators <laughs> yeah there is uh, we have a dashboard where we see how our um, improvements yeah last one where we see with how our channel is doing so at first when i started vlogging everything was down I was looking down 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 but i told myself good to know I know people are still ex expecting me to do story times, which I am no longer willing to do. Because I heard Usamo Petty saying that she doesn't want to talk about Amakli of of anymore because people are not taking her serious. That is where I decided to no, Let me just stop doing the story times. So guys, I, I st when I started my vlogging was down 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 uh, now i think now it's getting better guys it's getting better everything is looking like this the arrows are going up it's getting better even though i know it's not hundreds i wish my views and my subscribers can match even though okay no my getting has some changer but can it just be half of my subscribers but it's fine again, guys because now i'm not willing to go back to story time i will do story times but i'm i won't do the 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 boyfriend girlfriend the mcholo what whatever i'm not going back to that so you know guys like, what motivates me to keep uh, vlogging mina guys i am a person who yeah, well, we, if I start something, I want to finish that thing. And if I don't finish that thing, I get bothered. I get so, it's like, it's like young hound. <laughs> I'm haunted. <laughs> young hound, guys. And I feel like, I, I hate feeling like a failure. So what keeps me, what gives me the drive is that, when I start something, I want to finish it and I want to make it a success. When I started vlogging, guys, I was like, okay, now I've started vlogging and I want the vlogging thing to be a, a success. I want to show people my life. My life is not perfect. It's not even, but it's not perfect to other people. Okay, I do watch other people's vlogs which i have stopped okay i used to watch a lot of other people's vlogs and then if i watch other people's vlogs like people who have um, smeg people who have perfect kitchens perfect bedrooms perfect bathroom yeah, everything is perfect i used to watch those vlogs i i i i know some of you will know would see Past, uh, during the, I think it was March, April, but there was a time where I stopped vlogging or when I, where I will post my videos late or I was so demotivated because of how I was seeing other people who started doing vlogs after me, but they were, they were like, they were, um, getting my subscribers they were getting a lot of subscribers i'm not jealous of those people like let's be honest guys let us be honest guys it's so painful when you see you would see there's a, there's someone who, who started vlogging after you and that person is is successful yeah his channel like is growing and your channel is not growing it's so painful and then I told myself, okay, Asande, you know, in order for your channel to succeed, stop watching other people's channel, 
stop watching other people's channel i love watching i loved watching those channel but but then my channel was failing because i would feel like mm, my channel is not um is not growing and my house is not as nice as those people's houses and i would not realize would know those people are renting they are paying for the apartments I mean i have my my house it's this is my house this is my home i would not realize that I would know this is your house Asande. this is your home and this is how your home is yeah guys i'm sorry to people to people that I used to watch and I'm no longer commenting I'm not do, I'm not doing anything it's because I'm trying to protect myself I'm trying to protect my my heart I'm trying to protect my channel I'm trying to grow my channel it's been a long time and we have not even reached 1000 subscribers guys I thought by now I would already be at 1000 subscribers and I feel like my watch hours has even gone down because now it's this is the second year so yeah i think my watch hour for hey guys oh, if you watch other youtube channels where they explain what it, once you 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 end your one year you one your first year is finished then without you getting 1000 subscribers you have to start all over you must start all over and get your watch hours up for you to be monetized so i'm starting all over guys my channel is starting all over i'm on 2000 and something watch hours in order for me to get um uh, the to get monetized so yeah guys a lot goes into being a youtuber a lot goes into being a youtuber and i will forever be grateful for even taking this opportunity and for even taking this step to be a youtuber jay guys a lot goes in like yeah this is not a child's play actually when i started everything was smooth i was getting subscribers everything was smooth and nice but guys being a youtuber it's not a, a nice thing it's not nice when you are starting it's ooh, it's the hardest thing to do yeah but i ever stop comparing yourself to other people then you will see that your channel your channel will start doing better so now we are moving to all things lindo all things lindo lindo is the is one of the sweetest person on youtube all right she sent me a few questions okay, guys if you love my channel you will definitely love lindo's channel so lindo asked me what's it kuku pekai lindo i am from Dandy guys, Mina and Gain to Malania said Dandy Gingo was a Dandy. There is way I grew up, there is way I was raised. Get Dandy guys, get Dandy, get Dandy, get Dandy, get Dandy. And I do have siblings, I do have siblings. I have my cousins, my cousins. I am the only child, Kumawami. I am the only child Kumawami. I am the only child from my mother's side. And I'm the only one, guys. I'm the I'm a mother I'm my mother's baby. Till this day. I'm 31. My mother will be turning 50. I'm still my mother's daughter. But my mother love. Guys, my mother. Oh mom, guys, young. <laughs> my mother, guys, my mother loves me she la she loves me my mother lives for me guys and i'm so happy for that and i love my mother and i don't have i do have cousins yeah i do have cousins but okay you know when we are growing up from a black family 
I can the way cousins, your cousins are your sisters. Manager, I when I grew up, I knew what I have sisters and brothers. I grew up at my grandmother's house. Yeah, and there's a lot of us. One day, if I go to my go visit my grandmother, I will show you how how many but you will not see them like physically you will not see them you will see them you will see how many we are when i'm dishing up when i'm dishing up that is where you will see them but how many we are because most of the times they are not home especially a many they are not home some of them are at work some of them they are wherever they are but i will show you guys when i go i will go to my grandmother's house I know guys when i talk about my grandmother i miss home like i miss home I miss my grandmother, I miss my siblings, I miss everyone at home. But it's fine, I will go again when the schools close. Oh, I will go sometime. So yeah, guys, I mean, I'm the only child of my mom. I am alone. That is why I enjoy being alone. Even though still I grew up with my siblings and a lot of us. But there is a loner, a loner inside of me. I enjoy being alone. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Do you want more kids like guys, Mina? Like, honestly, between us, between you and me, I don't want any more kids. Like, I don't want any more kids. I'm fine with my two kids. I'm fine with my son and my daughter. Yeah, we are good. Because I don't think I'll be able to raise a child. Because I knew how it was. I, I, guys, raising my kids was the hardest thing to do. And sometimes I feel like I need a baby shower. Because both of my kids, I didn't get a baby shower. Because I was not working. And, yeah, I didn't have a life, man. So, yeah. If it happens that I change my mind, if it happens that I change my mind, like I mentioned on my, there is a video I did last year, guys, where I did a Q&A last year. I told you that if it happens that I do fall pregnant, it will be because I want a baby shower. <laughs> And I want a car seat and uh, yeah, I want a prem. I didn't have a prem. You know why I didn't have all those things, guys? Okay, the baby shower, I didn't have friends. I didn't have anyone. I was, yeah, it was just me. So with the prem, guys, my husband was going to be was gonna afford a prem and he was gonna buy a, a baby a cassette but because i didn't want to be a burden i didn't want to be a burden like yeah i didn't ask for it and i know he also didn't think about buying it and guys but no mm -mm. i didn't want to be a, i mean i hate being a burden i hate always asking hey guys woo, woo, i hate asking a man to do things for me. I mean, I, 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 yeah, that is why I didn't have all those things. But if it happens that I, I have a child, I will make sure that I, I have my own car. I have money for a car seat. I have money for a prem. I have money for a baby shower. I will plan my own baby shower. I know now I do have colleagues because I'm working. Back then I was not working. I know maybe my colleagues will no, they will do a baby shower for me. But yeah, it will be because I need a baby shower and Jay, and that will be it. After that, my life will be miserable because I don't like kids. Like honestly, I love my kids, but I don't like raising kid a, a child. I don't like ooh, I don't like having a child. <laughs> I like being pregnant. I would like to be pregnant. 
like i would love to pre be pregnant here in our house we have never had a small child like hi i would like to have a small child i told my husband the other day we said you know i would like to have a child but not now when i i am financially rich i and guys guys if this is a good idea but i feel like if i when i'm financially ready and everything is good i would really love to have a child so that i can see that child. the only time i will have kids one child foot in a cone i will only have one child after the two that i have if it happens that i have a child I will only have one child. Oh, I'm a twin sick. Eh? Whatever that God decides to give me. But for now, mm -mm. no kids for now until um I can afford a car. Ulindo also asked me how's work going, and she says she hopes that I'm settling. Yeah, work is not bad, guys. I have the most amazing colleagues. But you know, sometimes as a person, I am a person who is always looking for a growth. I am always looking for more money. Work is fine. But I wish we were getting more. Even though Sometimes when I'm being honest with myself, I'm like, no. The money that I get where I work is even more, more than what I put in the work. I wanna where I work, guys. It's I work for the best. My employ my, my employer is the best. I have a good working environment. But as for money, Gege, you know. We are always looking for more money. I wish I can get a job that pays more money than the money that I get now. Even though when I started working, I was not expecting what I'm getting now. <laughs> Guys, life. Hey, life. You never understand. But yeah. Yeah, I wish I can get a job that pays more than what I'm getting paid now. But shame, I don't want to lie. I work for the best employer. Our job environment is good. I'm enjoying my work. Uh, so when are you starting your cake business? Hmm. Yeah, but this question, the question of starting my own business, my cake business, I feel like I know there are people who believe that I can do this and there are people who know that, who can, who see my cakes and think that my cakes are worth selling. Guys, I mean, I'm not... I'm going to go to a point where, guys, I mean, I feel like I still need to go somewhere. I still need to go to someone to teach me how to bake. Or oh, not to bake, per se, but to decorate a cake. Because I feel like I'm struggling with decorating a cake. And I know who's in, who YouTube can teach me how to decorate a cake. It's just that ever since I got a job, I have forgotten about myself. I have forgotten what I wanted. I have forgotten what I wanted to do when I got a job. Because my aim was, when I get a job, I will, uh, I will find someone to teach me how to bake cakes and become the best. I want to be the best, guys. That was the aim when I got a job. But deep down, I want to be a stay-at-home mom while I do things. 
like baking i want to stay at home and still have money i want something that can bring me imali guys while i stay at home so cakes will always be the thing and i hope and i pray that i pray that one day i can go back to to when i i, I wanted to get a job so that i can achieve my cake business my plans for december right now i don't even know what i would like to do but this december i'm not planning on going anywhere if it happens that i go somewhere i want to be home i want to go to dandy spend time with my family because my Christmas, my Christmas and Dandy guys is always the best. I don't wanna lie. Would you ever? Would you ever host your family for Christmas? Yeah, definitely I will. I will, but not this year. You know, the only time I will, oh, I will host. Them is when I'm 50, <laughs> 50 years old, and I have a ring here on my finger. Here, but for now, because I don't have a ring here, a ring here, I'm not hosting anyone. I'm good. I will spend my Christmas at home in Dandy, and yeah, I'm not hosting anyone. G. Yeah, that was the last question. I hope I answered, guys. Nearly right, him. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have, if you did not enjoy the video, please, Nyanyela, do drop a comment. Go to you now. How you wish I did the video, J. Express yourself. The stage is yours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you on my next video. Bye.